We're here this morning at Lavo Academy and Central School, and we have Benjamin Leindecker with the Lavo Fire Department, who has organized the Climbathon here today, the stair climb. So, Ben, you've had a couple other uh, firefighters from local agencies join you. Do you want to kind of introduce who's come out today to climb with you? Uh, yeah, real quick. I was lucky enough to have three gentlemen uh, join me here today, so they can suffer, suffer along with me. Um, I'll let them introduce my, them themselves. Uh, they'll do a better job, I'm sure. But I had a couple of gentlemen from Glenfield and uh, I had a gentleman from Beaver Falls. So without further ado, gentlemen, take it away. Brandon Meal, Glenfield Fire Department. Pete Farney, Beaver Falls Fire Department. Chad Carter, Glenfield Fire Department Captain. And what inspired you guys to jo join Benjamin here today with the stair climb and um, recognition and remembrance of the events of September 11th. Uh, I'd like to go take us back to like 2001 when it happened and inspired everybody. And it seems like the closer we get to this date, those feelings come back. Uh, if you look at it, it even resonates with our kids that weren't alive when it happened. Uh, schools do a good job of teaching it and it's, it's a good thing that we'll never forget it. It's an important part of our history. It's good to remember what happened and not forget what happened on that day. You know, raise money for a good cause and for local fire departments. And, and glad that he put it on, let it be part of it. I remember the day, pretty much like it was yesterday, sitting in school, watching it on television, and then shortly after graduating, I joined the Army and left. And I did three, three tours overseas, and I've had the privilege to actually go down to the World Trade Center Memorial with a bunch of the spouses of the men that died that day, and talk with them, eat, spend the day with them. And this is all about our fallen brothers. Perfect. So you guys are on a mission today. You're here at Laval Academy School. Um, you're, you, you've got three flights of stairs here that you were- actually four. Four yeah, flights. I, misspoke. I thought there was only three, but I got here today. And uh, luckily there is four. I don't know why that's better, but that is better. Okay. Mentally. Yeah. <laughs> and your guys' goal today is to climb 110 flights. 110 uh, total, yep. So each, each individual uh, here will, will climb 110 flights. Okay, so you're not splitting it up. Everybody's doing the full thing. That's right. Okay, and um, you guys are also raising some money. So, do you want to talk about? Um, I know you're splitting half of it with the Fallen Firefighters Association. That's right. So half uh, will go to local fire departments, and then the other half uh, I partnered with the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. So they're going to get half of the proceeds. Uh, basically, I partnered with them to have you know a greater impact beyond Lewis County. Okay. And you guys have probably been climbing for about 20 minutes? It's been about 20 minutes, yeah. We're uh, about uh, 40 flights in, so about a third of the way down. Okay, so just uh, taking a quick break and yeah, getting right back to it. Absolutely. All right, so um, are you happy with the turnout that you've had today? And, and um, also you wanted to mention that people are still able to sponsor you and, and donate some money even after the fact when you guys Absolutely. are done Absolutely, yeah, we'll, uh, you can mail in your donations, uh, Lowell Fire Department, PO Box 81 here in Lowellville. Uh, we'll take them up until the 18th, so a week from today. So hopefully, you know, everybody out there in the public gets to see us putting in some work. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know they're they're willing to sponsor us at this point. And anyone sponsoring the Glenfield or the Beaver Falls firefighters, um, half the half the money will go to their department. Yeah, for if you want to earmark like your that. funds, if you want to earmark them to your your local department, just in that memo line, uh, please do put 911 stair climb and then add uh, your department as well. Anything that's unspecified will uh, will go put to all the fire. All right, well, you guys are really working up a sweat here today. It looks like a lot of hard work. Um, ben, we've got some photos of you as well, you know, carrying the, how, how much is the equipment that, that some, like, I know, so some of you are in regular uh, turnout gear, and then, uh, you know, Ben, you've been taking the hose up on some of the flights as well, so. Yeah, what? the uh, I think the hose has, uh, has beat me today. I think uh, 40 flights is as far as the hose will go, unfortunately. I hate to, uh, to get beat like that, but. Uh, how much did the hose weigh? The hose itself is 54 pounds. So, you know, one of my great, uh, one of the greats that I look up to, David Goggins, he says, uh, nobody ever succeeds without failing the first time. So I'm gonna fail the first time. But uh, uh, the rest of the gear, uh, the tools and the bottles are 
Uh, the spare bottles I'm taking are another 20, no, 32 pounds. Yeah, and then the pack with the air bottle, which by the end of this, I think I'll be carrying just that as well, just like these gentlemen here. Uh, that's 34, I do believe. Okay. So. So you guys got quite a bit of extra weight going up and down the flights as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The turnout gear then as well. I think the turnout yeah. gear is honestly the lightest weight thing we're carrying. Right. But uh, that's still heavy enough. So. Traps the heat. Yeah. Traps the heat. That's the worst. Right. Mom. Thank you for organizing the event, and we appreciate all that you guys are doing here today. Yeah, I appreciate your support and uh, certainly the public support. That's That's been huge throughout this process. All right. Well, thanks for taking a moment to speak with us. Absolutely. We'll let you get back to climbing. Thank you. Let's yeah. uh, step over here. Yeah. First and foremost, uh, you know, I want to thank you know sponsors. I got some donations from the Marine Corps League, Lincoln Lewis County, threw in a donation. A couple of community members approached me with some donations. And then the VFW has been huge. Uh, you know, they pledged a donation plus their their jar up there at their ceremony today. So I don't know what a dollar amount total will look like for another couple weeks because some people are mailing in uh, donations now that they've seen you know what we do, what we can do, what's possible. Uh, that will hopefully uh, move them to support us. I know we get. I think all departments across the county receive great support from the community as it is. Uh, but we were here today to memorialize the, the Twin Towers falling 20 years ago. And that is as close to home a tragedy as I hope we ever experience here in Lewis County. So it's something that, you know, is important to me, is important to the three gentlemen that climbed with me today. And uh, something that we pledge never to forget. And we certainly haven't. Uh, I want to thank Search and Rescue. They had a crew here in case, you know, one of us didn't didn't succeed. Uh, luckily, they were unneeded, so we're always happy when their skills are, are not required. And I guess with that, you guys have anything to add? Yeah, what was the um, group that you're climbing for again? Uh, National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. So they're going to get 50% of everything that we raised up until now and uh, donations accepted for the next week via mail to your local department or Lowell Fire Department. Uh, their P.O. Box is P.O. Box 81, Level New York, 13367. So now that you guys have completed the climb, um, just perspective-wise, what, what does it feel like to do the 110 flights in full turnout gear? Uh, so we had the luxury of taking breaks, drinking water, dropping gear as needed, which I unfortunately did uh, sooner than I anticipated. Uh, I know my, my, me, myself, I had you know, some music in my ears, some motivation, a lot of, uh, you know, David Goggins and Eric Thomas, uh, you know, they were, Jocko Willink, they were yelling at me the whole time to keep going. And this, the second to last trip I took, they've got a, a bit, David Goggins does about the cookie jar. And he talks about when, you know, you're at your limit, when your mentality's broken, your body's broken, you gotta reach down to that cookie jar. And it about brought me to tears thinking, you know, I'm at the end. So, you know, luckily we were able to complete, dig down deep, and uh, I can't imagine what those gentlemen went through 20 years ago, knowing that they were running into certain death. So, our conditions were as good as they'll ever be here today. And you did some conditioning beforehand? Kind yeah, of I trained, uh, not nearly enough, clearly. Um, but I had completed 78 flights, uh, just on a Stairmaster with an air pack and turnout gear. So adding the additional tools and the hose broke me pretty quick. So uh, if I ever attempt this again, there will certainly be more, uh, more crazy training to follow. And uh, can you, I know we were talking about this off the air before, but um, where, where were you on 9-11 20 years ago? What, what was your experience? That yeah, night? so personally I was in the fifth grade. Uh, Teacher comes across the hall, says, hey, you gotta turn on the TV, right? So teacher goes, turns on the TV, and we watched it live. We watched it, obviously, by then. Uh, I don't know if the second plane had hit or not. I don't recall specifically, but I do remember watching the towers burn, and we watched one of them fall right live on TV. So it was, you know, even in my fifth grade mind, that was a very striking moment that has clearly stuck with me till to this day. Yeah, uh, what do you think, um firefighters that day are thinking as they're walking up all those flights of stairs? Uh, you know, we spoke in one of our breaks about the adrenaline rush and how that certainly did work in their advantage. One of the few advantages that they did have and we did not 
but to wrap your mind around the unknown number of minutes left in your life as you go to save others is a very humbling thought that I hope never to have, but I am certainly prepared to do so should I need to. Do you think they knew that day? I, yeah, they definitely knew, without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, so, and just for background here, can you just explain like why you decided to organize this and do this today? Oh uh, yeah, so this is around New York State, at very least, maybe around the country. Fire departments do this today. You know, they climb the 110 flights, they take the gear, they raise the funds, they, you know, remember 9-11. And it's something that nobody here in Lewis County had done. And it's something I've wanted to do for a number of years. I'm glad this year to finally make it happen. And I don't know that it will continue. We'll see what the next year brings. Because uh, certainly this was a challenge and one that, you know, we all took, we all succeeded. And I know we'll all take it again if, if I ask. Um, and just speaking of that challenge, how, how difficult was it for people that, you know, do not climb 110 flights of stairs? How difficult is that with all the gear? I thought I would get to like 45 flights piece of cake before I broke down and I got to like 12. And uh, I, was, I was dying. I, I couldn't feel my legs. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't do anything. I had to drop. I think I dropped my hose after like 40. So uh, certainly after I dropped the gear, it got much easier as you would expect. But to be asked to do that with no preparation is something that clearly I think anybody would fail to do. I trained and failed. So, you know, this is certainly a call to all the volunteers, you know, to your challenge may not be 132 gallons or sorry, 132 pounds of gear, but you know, it might be the 20 pounds of gear. So, you know, take it upon yourself to, to challenge yourself, you know. Uh, how heavy was the uh, red guy at the end? The red guy is uh, probably probably 250. Yeah, he was missing some legs, so <laughs> he's supposed to be 300. But that uh, that was a brutal couple of flights of stairs. And I mean, how did it feel when you finished finally? To draw, uh, I told myself not to drop to my knees when I finished, but I did. I couldn't stand anymore. My legs still they're shaking. I can't barely stand up right now. So it is. Uh, I pushed myself beyond the limit to a new a new level today. And sorry, I, I know you said this before, but where's the money going to? Uh, National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. So they do a lot to help the families of those who died on 9-11. And then those, you know, there's certainly those people today that are afflicted with numerous cancers and diseases and all kinds of, you know, mutilations. And so they do a lot to help them out as well. And are they getting all of it? Or I think you said half is going? Yeah, so 50% goes to them and then you know, Lewis County, I think everybody has pride in Lewis County, so I wanted to, to show that pride as well. Uh, so 50% will stay local. Yeah. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you, you sir. Guys. Yeah.